Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Adelaide, and today I'm going to be talking about United's uh, recent performance where they lost 3 2 to uh, Leipzig. It was a very important game. We needed to win. Uh, I think if we drew, we would have went through on goal difference. But all, that's all we needed, and we lost 3 2. And I just want to give my thoughts uh, on the performance. So, first of all, I think Solskjaer's choice of formation was poor. I think three at the back really wasn't the move because at four at the back we struggled defensively so I doubt three at the back is going to be any better um Ole has changed his formation three times in his last four games and f to me that's worrying I understand he's trying to find the best formation but we don't have all day you know we need to move on um I don't know you know what if he plays maybe four three one two or something I don't know just play a decent formation for the love of God uh, as for the match itself, um, Alex Tellez and Wan Bissaka were playing a lot higher, so that they could push back, which I think was okay. I guess. Um, well, we'll talk about that anyway. So, we started off with the first goal. The first goal, I put the blame on Wan Bissaka. To be honest, uh, his positioning was all over the place. He was playing. He was playing center. Him and Harry Maguire were marking one player. There was one player, one attacker, who Basaka should have been marking. He didn't mark, and that attacker scored the goal. Basaka was nowhere near him. It was terrible positioning. He's supposed to be playing on the right Basaka, and he's doing fuck all. You know, have better positioning. This isn't pro clubs. This is a very important Champions League game. So that was the first goal. I, I think was very, very poor positioning. So hopefully he can get his head out of his arse. Then we conceded a second goal. The second goal uh, was a bit mad. Um, there wasn't one, there wasn't two. There was three United players um, at the back marking absolutely fuck all. There was a centre-back. I, th I think I don't know who the centre-back was, whether it was Maguire or, or Lindelof. And then I think the other two were McTominay and Matic. I, I think, I'm not sure. But the three of them were marking fuck all. They were sitting down doing bugger all. If you look at the highlights, they're literally not marking anyone. Every other defender who's in that box is marking someone. Even Basaka. And I was talking about him, you know. Talking shite about him. But they should be marking better. It's just, it's it's ridiculous. Um, There's a Leipzig player who's unmarked. And he goes in and he scores 2-0. Both goals coming from defensive mistakes. Every single time. You never see United concede a goal where we give it up in midfield or it's a counter-attack. Every goal we concede, it's either a defensive error or a goal where the defender really could have done a lot more to avoid the goal. Every single time. I've watched the highlights all the time. Every single time it fucking happens. Uh, it was half-time. We decided to make some substitutions. Uh, we brought on Van Der Beek. I don't know if we brought one at half-time or if it was in the 60th minute or whatever, but... Van der Beek should have been starting. He's a very good player. I don't know why he wasn't starting from the get go because he's a good player. He, you know, he, he's uh, he's a good passer. Um, he's very good at keeping the ball. He should have been starting, in my opinion. Um, and we in the 60th minute we also brought on, we took off Luke Shaw and brought on Brandon Williams. Now I don't know why we did this because Brandon Williams is absolutely terrible. He's done fuck all ever since he's gotten there. He's sh he's so shit. I don't even know. He do he doesn't really have any attributes at all. Uh, he's very poor. Every time Ole has given him a chance, he's done nothing with it. He's lazy. He has no passion, and he just doesn't deserve to be playing. So we bring him on, and then we concede another goal, and I'm putting some of the blame on Brandon Williams because there was he just he wasn't even running. He was just jogging around, doing nothing. He showed no compassion. Even if he ran full speed and it was inevitable, like the ball was going to go into the back of the net, he could have done that and showed that he was passionate. But no, he decided to jog around doing nothing. And I think maybe if he ran, he could have stopped it. I think it was poor decision-making from Brandon Williams. Uh, we were down 3-0 downs, uh, 20 minutes to go. We needed at least a draw, and I was getting worried. Uh, in the 80th minute, uh, Bruno Fernandes scored a penalty. It was a clear penalty. Uh, 
it was a clear shove in the box. He wasn't going for the ball at all. Clear penalty. Bruno Fernandes sends the keeper the wrong way and he gets a goal back 3-1. I, I, when I found out that he scored, I was just moaning saying, oh, it's too fucking late. 135 seconds later, United get another goal. It's a cross in. Van der Beek gets a good touch on it. And then uh, Maguire puts it in. People were saying that it hit off Maguire's hand, but it's kind of hard to see from the angle. But anyway, VAR didn't see it. So 3-2 it is. There we go. Um, And then I was thinking, okay, well, we have eight minutes of normal time. There was four minutes of added time. So I was thinking 12 minutes. We have a chance here to get another goal. We didn't end up doing that. Uh, I think McTominay had a really good chance. Unfortunately, he didn't get there. And it ended uh, 3-2 and we were out. And I'll put all of the blame on Ole and the defensive errors that were made because it was poor. Uh, the formation changes is ridiculous. And Ole has to sort himself out because he can't just keep doing this. He's not making the right decisions and he's all over the place. Uh, there needs to be a change. Every time United lose a game, the first thing that comes to Ole's mind is we need a striker. We bought Cavani. I don't think we should have bought him. He's a mediocre player. I never thought he was a world-class player, personally. A lot of people will agree. Always won the fucking league on with PSG. Anyone can win that. If you sign with PSG, you're guaranteed to win it because there's no, there's no one else that really puts in i mean at one point leon did but not anymore psg are guaranteed to win it even if they're all fucking disabled they're guaranteed to win it every year but cavani i never thought he was world class we bought him he didn't play last night i think he was injured or something but he, he didn't he's not really a, a decider really isn't he? i mean he played a good premier league game uh it was last week he, he played well he got two goals and he he won us the game and he played well um but I don't. If it wasn't for those deliveries from Bruno Fernandez, I don't think he would have scored them. Uh, Bruno Fernandez gets man of the match for us. He scored the penalty. He had a free kick earlier on in the game, and he hit the crossbar. It was a very good effort. Um, he's Bruno Fernandez is our was our best player last night. Van der Beek played well as also, but Bruno Fernandez, superb player. We're lucky to have him. He's created the most chances in the Premier League this season, and he's world class. And we're lucky to have him. Uh, but that's that's really it. I'm just a bit upset because now we're out of the Champions League. Uh, we won't win a title this season. We won't. The Premier League, I mean, Liverpool and City aren't playing well, so you may think, oh, it's opened up, but Chelsea are on form, Tottenham are on form, and even though if, if you think Liverpool aren't on form, they're second in the league, uh, drawn with Tottenham on points. So, you know, there we go. Um but hopefully we can play a bit better and uh, Ole get your head up